Looks like we just got some information of crucial map changes happening within Halo Infinite as well as a sandbox update. So let's dive right into it. If you guys like these news and informational videos, make sure you tap that like button as this is the best way to help out the video and channel within this all famous YouTube algorithm. Let's go check out what this blog has to offer for us guys. So right now they're giving us the list of all the HCS and ranked modes and playlists. So for Capture the Flag, you have Argyle, Empyrean, and also Aquarius Slayer. You'll have Empyrean, Aquarius, Live Fire, Recharge, and Streets. King of the Hill will be Recharge, Live Fire, and Streets. Strongholds will have Recharge, Live Fire, and Streets. And Oddball will have Recharge, Live Fire, and Streets. And for all you HES fans, I do mention that Empyrean, aka The Pit, and Argyle will be maps that will be played on the main stage. You can see them at the highest level of play, which is always really fun. We have some balance changes coming in. These will be taken in for Ranked and HES. So also your online play boys, all you sweaty boys are going to deal with this by July 10th, as in the day this video uploads. This is what the changes are going to be coming with Argyle, the Bulldog Shotgun replaced with the MK50 Sidekick. The VK78 Commando in each base will become a BR75, as well as the Fusion Coils were removed. The Pit Remake, aka Empyrean, will have the Fusion Coils removed, as well as the Scrap Cannon removed, all for that. The attachment will have the drop wall changes reduced from two to one. Now we have some sandbox tweaks coming in guys. Mid February is the targeted time frame before the Charlotte Major. So most likely this will happen on February 14th. As I predicted earlier on this channel here guys. So if you want to keep up there with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. But let's get back into the details here. Uh, interesting thing, ammo rack update right here. So I was saying in the ranked arena playlist and HCS, each weapon rack will now be set to a red rack, meaning once a weapon is picked up, the rack won't spawn another weapon until the weapon is despawned. And the reason why 343 decided to do this, because a lot of pros, and I would actually kind of echo this as well, that sometimes that maps can kind of run away into a bit of a snowball effect because of what people holding different weapons and things like that and just constantly refilling them because they just keep respawning on their weapon rack. So now you have to wait until that weapon is completely despawned off the map before it can come back in. This kind of helps out with that balancing a little bit, helps also with a little more predictability within the gameplay. So you have a better understanding of what you're gonna be fighting against in the game, which is gonna be fantastic. Now, continuing on, we see here that frag grenades are gonna change and the damage radius will be reduced again from the previous update that they had on these frag grenades. Uh, I mean, I didn't really notice too much of a change last time, a little bit, but not like significant. So we'll see what they change here actually. Maybe we'll, with the update, we'll get to cover some more information on it. They drop weapon mechanics saying speed will be a parody with normal weapon switching, which I believe they already did with December, but maybe they haven't implemented it quite yet. A big change here, the sniper rifle is getting changed here, guys. The snipes are actually gonna be functioning properly, saying reduction in random air angle when no scoping. So this should have your no scopes be a little bit more accurate so that's gonna be quite amazing because right now if you guys don't know that there is a random bullet deviation when it comes to your sniper rifle when no scoping is not like oh i had lag or it's my console not working properly it's because that's how the game's actually fundamentally designed and here's a list of changes that are looking to come in within season three none of them are guaranteed but there are definitely in the works right now at the moment to see if they can get in with the release of season three one being footstep audio Saying adjusting it so then it's a little bit more suited to competitive plays. They say that the steps are a little too loud, a little too obvious right now, which actually I would kind of agree with that. So I would like to see this come in, hopefully with season three. The Mangler, guys, the most hated weapon by all competitive players of all time, being changed right here. Saying Will Vault from competitive will undergo rework in the future before being reintroduced. Same thing here with the sword as well. That's being vaulted as well. As recently, we do know that with the December update, they uh, enabled a trading feature now with the sword. We have some changes coming to VK78 Commando as well, saying slight retuning to reduce effectiveness. We felt that the winter update pushed the needle a little too far, tuning again to find the sweet spot. And so my guess would be that the spread will probably be a little bit more prominent with the VK78 Commando. I would say it's a little too good, especially when in good player's hands, they can be really, really nutty. Uh, spike grenade changes here, saying reducing randomness to alleviate frustration. The Disruptor, saying overall, we're looking to reduce effectiveness and or utility of the weapon in order to find the sweet spot. Uh, from my experience, the effectiveness isn't too crazy. If anything, I'd like to see more effective with like the chaining ability of the disruptor. So then you have a little bit more unique situation within the sandbox. Right now, it just seems like it's a, I me, mean, it's a weak weapon that has damage over time where 
you can maybe get a kill after they kill you or something like that. Like it's not really that effective. I like to see the chaining feature with the disruptor specifically to be kind of in buffed or enhanced in some kind of capacity. Those have changes coming to the pulse carbine saying it will be vaulted for competitive play and it will be re reworked for future as well. The plasma pistol is saying uh, slight returning to reduce effectiveness in order to find the sweet spot once again. Ammo reduction coming in saying for competitive, we're reducing ammo for heat wave, stock rifle, the bulldog, and the shock rifle. I also mentioned that the shroud screen and the bandit rifle will be featured within competitive as well. So we get to look forward to see how much the pros will hate these new weapons. Hitting, of course. Now, Tashi also did hit up the Twitter to do some more clarification. So we kind of get into more details, especially about those rockets on the pit remake. So I actually had a question which I kind of answered, but I just wanted to clarify to double make sure that if all these settings and changes that are coming into Halo Infinite are gonna also play in with ranked. And Tashi said yes, except the attachment will remain in the ranked rotation. Interesting thing about the pulse carbine, where someone said they actually she really liked the weapon and Tasha said unfortunately the gun will likely continue to move in a different direction towards a more social lower skilled audiences so we just decided to let it have that focus instead of splitting it in different directions which can hurt the overall experience sometimes which I would totally agree with that have competitive be competitive have social be social so it looks like they might be getting a buff to the pulse carbine later on in the season we'll see what happens i would actually would like to see that more in the social side of things to kind of be kind of like another way you can utilize the pulse carbine kind of like a class of pistol in a way but maybe something kind of different we'll see what 343 has in order for that weapon of course i'll keep you guys up to date whenever that happens so one person talks about having ranked doubles be a permanent playlist which i know people do love their ranked doubles but Tasha does clarify saying, we're seeing that ranked players like doubles don't bring back new players, but cannibalize them from main ranked arenas. So likely won't be permanent as long as that remains true, which is something I always talk about when it comes to Halo that I know a lot of people want to have other ranked experiences within Halo Infinite. The big issue is that whenever there is another ranked place, it usually takes away those ranked players from ranked arena where that's where the main experience is right there. Of course, there might be that kind of catch 22 issue, but yeah, not a lot of people jump in to play ranked doubles because ranked doubles isn't a permanent mode. That's why I didn't play it because why should I grind out this mode to get a higher rank when I know it's gonna be gone in two weeks. But of course, I've been here since day one before the even before the release of Halo Infinite saying that I would like to see just one ranked mode, that being the ranked settings that we have for like HCS or like we have right now with ranked arena that should just be the one ranked mode and everything else just be so fun and social I mean maybe ranked team slayer could work but really I just want to see everyone just kind of focus more on the, like the true balanced experience of just ranked arena like we touched on earlier in this video talking about the rocket series and however four rockets plus two large capacity snipers remaining on Empyrean are a big problem to cause snowballing gameplay and Tasha says yeah we're looking into that snowballing right now which I'm like well, you recognize it's a problem. All the other maps have their certain types of ammo capacities. Why not mirror that for Empyrean? That just seems kind of odd. I love having a rocket launcher with four shots in it because I can just basically wipe out the entire enemy team, which is kind of a snowball effect, but also it's kind of the point of having a power weapon to kind of create some openings and take out the enemy team because you fought for that weapon. But when all the other maps have like two rocket shots and Empyrean for some reason has four, I mean, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I like to see a little bit more continuity within the maps. And they did confirm that we will have some Twitch drops for Charlotte saying, hopefully we get some good drops. Tasha says, yes, we are really excited about them. Will be some all new goodies. Now with these recent changes, Catalyst was actually removed pretty much all together from the ranked experience, which Catalyst actually worked out pretty well for CTF. A lot of people in the community agree with that. Tashi replies about it, saying that it was replaced with Argyle and Empyrean. It might come back at some point, never say never. Map rotation can't be too big. You need to ensure players can practice them all. Now, I know a big issue I've been experiencing, and I know a lot of you people in the chat have experienced those as well. I see them in the comments. I read your comments. I see you guys there. A lot of issues are talking about the servers being fixed. And well, Tashi does actually talk a little bit about this, but then they're saying, that the team is currently monitoring it at the moment, which is like, bro, how much longer do we have to wait until these servers can actually be reliable? Because right now, they, they did get better. They're definitely better than where they were, uh, because before it was just absolutely ridiculous and unplayable. Now it's just like, okay, now it's just kind of ridiculous at this point. 
It's crazy to see how long this issue has eluded 343 this long. Make sure you have reliable servers. It's so weird how just Halo is having this issue. Can I check my ping and my packet loss in all other games? Totally fine. In Halo Infinite, they're kind of funky. Why is that? No one knows. Another bit of the sandbox that's been super controversial that people have been talking about recently are the shock grenades and how powerful those things are, which in a rank setting, yeah, those are really powerful. Like they can really mess up an entire st setup, strategy, just like take out an entire room. Like they're something serious. And well, Tasha does talk about this in the thread here saying it's on the list to look, but lower priority than others that we shared today. So they're looking at it, but nothing really happening with it. I think shock names are pretty much gonna stay right where they are at the moment for the foreseeable future. Maybe with like season four, we could see some changes with them. Maybe in a drop pod during season three, maybe. Uh, but again, if we see any kind of official information or kind of hinting towards something changing with those, like I always do on this channel, I'll let you guys know. If you want to know more about like the cross core customization dates, as well as more weapons coming in and possibly playable leads, well, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.